Hey guys, welcome back to Packet Drift. In this video, we'll see how to configure the static route on Juniper and the Cisco devices and we'll explore the command line differences between them. So let's get started. Guys, let's start with our previous topology, uh, which we used in our previous videos to uh, show the basic configuration and how to configure the interface on Juniper and the Cisco device. Uh, in this topology, uh, as you can see, Juniper is con configured with the loopback address of 1.1.1 slash 32 and the Cisco router is configured with the 2.2.2.2 slash 32. So we'll be configuring the static route on Juniper and the Cisco router for each other's loopback. So let's see how to configure those on the CLI. So here is the Juniper CLI and this router is of a Cisco CLI. Uh, let's see how to configure the static route on Juniper router and what are the commands to configure this uh, static route on that. So you have for configuration of the static route on Juniper, you have to go to the configuration and then go to the edit routing option. So please keep in mind to configure the static route on Juniper device, you have to go inside the routing option. There you have to set static and then route and then the destination. So on Juniper router, you will be configuring the loopback static route for the Cisco's loopback. So Cisco loopback is 2.2.2.2 slash 32. And then the next stop and then the IP of the next stop interface. So in this case, the next stop interface would be 100.1.1.2 towards the Cisco router. So here yeah, the next stop would be 100.1.1.2 and then enter. Now, as you can see, a show pipe compare would show what are the changes you have made. So you have added the static route plus plus sign here and then top and then commit to run, uh, write the configuration in the uh, running configuration. Commit in Juniper. So to check if this is been configured, show configuration routing option and then static and then display set you will be seeing the configuration which we just put for the static route so this is how you configure this is uh, static route uh, in the juniper router let now let's now see how to configure uh, static route on cisco router to configure cisco router for static route is very simple you have to go inside the configuration terminal then ip route and then the destination. So here in this case, destination would be Juniper's loopback. So 1.1.1.1. Then you have to uh, define this subnet mask for that. So here we'll be configuring 2.255.255.255.255 that is slash 32. And then the next stop IP forwarding address router forwarding routers address. So this is nothing but the next stop address. So here in this case, next stop address will be 100.1.1.1, this interface IP address of Juniper. So 100.1.1.1. So this is how we configured the static route on the Cisco router. Now let's see if it has been configured. So show IP route. Or we also can check static. This way, yeah, as you can see, this has been configured. 1.1.1 is configured and it's next stop. Uh, address is 100.1.1.1 towards this Juniper router. So similarly, we can check the routing entry here as well. Show route uh, protocol static. As you can see, 2.2.2.2 for destination 2.2.2 router. Uh, route is configured for 100.1.1.2 towards this Cisco router. Now let's ping. 2.2.2.2 source 1.1.1.1. So it is pinging now. So this is how we configure the static route on Juniper and the Cisco router. These are the basic command line difference to configure the static route. For more option, you always can do the question mark and then see what are the uh, other options to configure with along with the static route uh, based on your requirement.
so guys thanks for watching this video please do like subscribe and comment your view on the comment section thank you